So Microsoft releases Windows 8. But one thing a lot of people are complaining about, no start menu. Microsoft completely removed the code so you don't have the option to go back to it if you wanted to. Let me show you. If you've never seen Windows 8, over here you normally will have your start menu. If you hover your mouse over here, you see this little box that popped up. Click it and it's going to take you to the new start menu. What I want to show you in this video is how to get back to start menu without using any third party applications. Yes, you could go online, you could get a replacement to the start menu, but it's not the same thing. We're going to go back to the desktop and we're going to install this program. What this program does, it replaces the Windows 8 Explorer with the Windows 7 Explorer. The pro to this, you get the start menu back, you get the Windows 7 look. Cons to this, you'll lose the ability to use any Metro apps. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to download the file. You're going to set it up. I already did this. So it's not going to ask me for uh, the Windows 7 installation this. But when you install this, there's going to be a part here that's going to ask you to put in your original Windows 7 uh, DVD. Do that, continue, and eventually you're going to come to this window here. Use Windows 7 Explorer or use Windows 8 Explorer. So you know what? Let's select Windows 7 Explorer. All right, so once you select Windows 7 Explorer, you're going to log out. You're going to log back in. Once you log back in, you're going to have your Windows 7 look. Let's go to System. Check it out. Windows 8 Professional. Everything's working good, it's activated, but I know you guys don't care about that. Let's look at the new start menu. Well, the classic start menu. And there we go. All right, guys, so I lost some of the footage. Don't know what happened, but I got the start menu working. Everything seems to work fine. No problems. Now, before you try this, check the description and read, read, read. Very important. Now, another thing I want to talk about. At the moment, Pro Tools 10, it's not compatible. So somebody figured out if you install Pro Tools 9 and then 10, for whatever weird reason, 10 would work. You will no longer have any errors. Never tried it, but supposedly it works. And this only worked with uh, the preview version of uh, Windows 8. I'm not sure if this trick will work with the final version. I'm pretty sure Avid eventually will release an update. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just post in the bottom. Remember, give me a thumbs up and press that subscribe button.